Well, welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword is with you, of course, once again. And we got a new blade that was sent to me for review and consideration by the Vostid folks. Yes, this is Vostid, and you'll notice it's a little longer box and a little bigger box than you might be used to seeing. That's because here is what is inside. <clears throat> yes, uh, I don't think it's their first fixed blade. I think it's their second, perhaps. And this, if I can get the box open, I should have opened it ahead of time in front of the camera because they want to make sure it doesn't open accidentally, perhaps. <laughs> Here we've got all the good stuff that came inside. Stay sharp. And a microfiber cloth. And, oh, a picture of a mink <laughs> with Vosteed on it. Why it's a mink, I'm not sure. Is it soft and furry and cuddly, and can you make clothing out of it? Uh, that would be kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, this is a small EDC fixed blade. Comes in a Kydex sheath, a very nice one. And, yes, you can push it off. Pretty snug fit. Look at that guy. Uh, by the way, it comes with uh, kind of a, they don't call these tech locks. It's a little narrower in case you want to know. So it's a push button. It's not the Terzola tech lock, not the proprietary one. But there is the mink. It is this big. It is still four fingers with a half inch left over on my medium large hands. It interestingly has two rows of jimping. Look at that. Got a back set or run and a front run with a little space in between. Very nice. It's got a frag pattern black micarta on this one. I believe there are a couple other flavors. I'll make sure you've got the link to uh, the Vosteed website and any other websites that might currently be carrying these, although it is new. We might see them on Amazon. Certainly uh, at this recording, Christmas is coming up. We're uh, into early December 2023. And by the time you see this, maybe a year later, these will be uh, out of production. <laughs> Things are coming and going so quick. It is a small, as you can see, short knife, but it is a usable one. It's got a full flat grind. It is from Nitro V steel, stainless steel, quite a good one. Um, many Civivi knives, Sencut knives, and others are being made from Nitro V, not to mention some custom knives I have. Yes. So, um, it's all how you heat treat it, all how you grind it. We've got a high flat grind here. We've got a little bit of paper over on the side. I suppose we could see if there's enough left here to, uh, well, I got a little bigger piece. See if there's enough left here to give you a sharpness test on this guy. Yeah, have a bad start there, but now it's good. There we go. It's in the technique, I suppose you could say. All right, get that off to the side. So we've got a high flat sharp blade that can always benefit from a little stropping, but as it comes out of the box, uh, it is pretty meanly sharp. We've got three rivets here. Actually, they're screws, so uh, accessible from the right side. Looks like a T8. And it is a full tang knife. Very nice. So it should be strong. Got a decent tip there. Definitely we've got a nice belly on it that begins about oh, roughly halfway through the blade length. And speaking of blade lengths, what have we got for a blade length on this little guy? Well... Beginning with the overall length, uh, we're going to call it a 7.15. And uh, we're going to call the blade length uh, three and a quarter and the cutting edge three and a quarter. 
That much is pretty straightforward. Blade stock in millimeters, since we're set to millimeters first. 2.8 millimeters in inches. 0.11. Handle thickness, 0.45. Wow, thin for a fixed blade knife. It's going to rival some of the other thin blades, custom and otherwise, that I have. Weight is two and a half ounces, we're going to call that, 2.55. Wow. So it's light and it's thin and it's nitro V. And it is grippy. Somebody's going to ask me, is the grip grippy? Yes. Is it overly grippy? Is it abrasive on your finger? No. I'd say it's just about right. They did it right with the right kind of uh, pattern, the right kind of materials. It's going to be fairly indestructible unless you go out of your way to break things like um, some of those guys on those other channels. <laughs> well, if that's their thing, but it's not my thing. What, are gonna, what am I going to tell you? I once saw a guy take like an $8,000 Canon uh, SLR camera, digital SLR camera, and uh, he uh, pounded nails into a, a board with it. Yes with a camera. <laughs> Everybody's got their thing. What can I tell you? I can tell you what's not mine. <laughs> well, a compared to one I reviewed recently from MKM, a Bob Trezola design. This is the uh, T TP defense, TPS defense, I believe. <clears throat> it's from MagnaCut. And we've got pretty much the same length. It's ever so slightly longer than the mink. Uh, not as tall a blade and uh, handles roughly the same, but more contouring on the MKM Trizola. More of that rounded features, whereas we've got pretty much a, pretty much a flat here. Just breaking the edges. There's no edges on it quite comfortable. And uh, the venerable, if I can find it, <clears throat> the venerable Street Beat <laughs> by Spyderco, designed by Fred Perrin. This is kind of the standard by which I measure many others. And it's funny how it always comes in a little bit shorter. But you know what? It's dead on. If we account for that pointy pommel, Yes, pointy pommel, um, taller handle, about the same height blade, about almost the same taper. We've got more of a clip going here. It, certainly, this is a drop point. I wouldn't really call it a clip. This is more of a clip with a swedge and a very comfortable knife. Got some decent jimping on this one as well. Seems as though the handle, yeah, it's about the same. Handle's about the same. Let's look at all three of these for a moment. The MKM, designed by Bob Trezola and MagnaCut. S30V on the Spyderco, one of their staple steels. And uh, Nitro V on the Mink. Compared to what else? Oh, I don't know. How about compared to a folder? Rat 1. Oh, yeah, I'd say the rat one's just a bit larger, maybe like coming up on two and a half inches longer with the blade just a bit longer, maybe half an inch. Interesting how that works. <clears throat> so there we have the newly released Vostid, newly released in December 2023. Got to tell you in case you're not looking at the date of the video. Uh, by Vostid. It's an internal design as far as I know. There's uh, no maker, uh, although a lot of the internal designs for Vostid are, uh, what is it, Dr. EDC? U, Dr. U, Y-U-E. And I had some good uh, online uh, Instagram messaging with him not that long ago. Great guy to talk to through that means and uh, provide me with 
provided me with a lot of interesting info and background on him and the company and what they're doing. So uh, always happy to see something come in from Vosteed. I uh, don't get that many knives. Somebody questioned me recently on a, a custom and said that theirs didn't look like mine and the grind was off and so on and so forth. And I must get special treatment and be given special hand-picked blades. No, I don't, <laughs> as far as I know. And I don't think this was hand-picked. Um, Could have been, but um, I think I've got 5% of all the blades I've reviewed or less have been given to me for review by the company. Everything else paid for out of my own pocket. So including the one in question there. Anyway, let me know what you think. This is a cool new offering. And I think it's nice that Vostit is getting into the fixed blade venture. And um, don't forget to give this vid a like if you would. Appreciate it. Subscribe as well. Take care.